Hello, I'm Matt Gell from House.com, and I'm here with Jason Henderson from Bird and Snowboards. How are you doing? Good. Cool. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being here. Yeah, kick ass. Hey, hey. Um, Jason's here, of course, walking us through the 2019 line. We've been shooting a lot of videos today of the hard goods, and we are in the all mountain category. Uh, this is the all mountain kind of like fun shape style category, uh, not just for your average Joes, but for people who want fun shapes and boards that rip the whole mountain. We have the skeleton key, the flight attendant, and of course, the deep thinker. And uh, Jason's just gonna walk us through each one. Yeah, um, definitely uh, wanted to, you know, make things a little bit more, uh, you know, fun for people to process, you know, wanted to right. bring price points, you know, into different fun shapes. Mm -hmm. We actually, you know, got the skeleton key down to a good price point. Yeah. Um, but this is definitely, you know, since it's, you know, been, since it's been out, a lot of people that spend a lot of time on this board just love this board. But yep. Work killer everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, carves really well, mm -hmm. but then once it does, you know, dump snow, you do have a longer nose. You right. got the notched out tail. This thing mm -hmm. really is it's good in the trees, yep. um, but it's not super stiff either. So it's just really playful. So mm -hmm. um, killer board for the cash. It's, you know, coming in at uh, about five hundred bucks. So. That's right. And you, one thing that I really enjoy about it is that even at the what the one fifty nine size, mm -hmm. uh, it has a two five eight waist width so i'm a size yeah. 11 boot i like riding my boards 258 uh, in the middle and wider mm -hmm. and this one has it so even though it's considered a regular width board as a size 11 boot i can still lay down turns mm -hmm. and it, it, it does really rip hard but it's still it's still maneuverable still pliable yep. and it has that uh, kind of directional camber story profile yep so directional camber meaning uh you know camber um from right here to here and then mm -hmm. it has what we call balance free ride where the tape, the, the board is tapered, but it's past the upturn. Right. So when you're riding on groomers, it's going to ride really neutral. But then once the snow gets deeper, then that's where the, tip, the taper kicks in and it becomes really directional. Right. So that's what makes it, you know, really good all mountain board. Mm -hmm. Say you're on a cat track and it's just, you know, a calf burner. You can flip it around, switch, and it's not going to feel super foreign to you. So yeah, that's right. Actually, down, Downing set me this 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 board. The, I think it was the fifty nine, mm -hmm. uh, mid season last last year, and it was. I was stuffed. Like yeah. when I saw when I first saw this graphic, it's like it's a plain graphic, right? Mm -hmm. It's got it's a clean. single base, yeah. dude. This it was so stoked. I'm still stoked on this thing. I'm I'm, I'm really pumped to get back on it again mm -hmm. this year. Lots of room for stickers. Lots of room for stickers. Uh, flight attendant. Yeah. So um, board that was born in the family tree, um, mm -hmm. you know, a number of years ago. Um, has really kind of come to the forefront as like one of the best all mountain boards in our line. That's so, right. Um, you know, it is again that directional camber, so mm -hmm. cuts through all that chop, holds a good edge, um, but has that balanced free ride tapered uh, 10, 10 millimeters, so it's actually a little wider nose. Outside the contact point? Outside the contact point, so a really tall, floaty nose for when it dumps, but um, you know, actually can kill it in the park on the jumps and everything, mm -hmm. you know, um, when it doesn't, so. That's right. Um, Kind of, kind of fun looking graphic too. I like yeah. the contrasting base, like white yeah. and black, and yep. center yep. base. Oh yeah, yeah, center WFO. Uh, right. It's got the you can actually see it a little bit of transparency. It's got the uh, the carbon I beams in it. Oh right. Kind of some of the, the, the love there. So, but yeah, the, the flight attendant's been um, you know one of the best, uh, well favorite boards by a lot of people that just want you know. They do, spend, they do spend some, you know, a good amount of days on POW, but mm -hmm. they only want one board, so they don't want a, a POW-only board. Right. Yeah, because it rips so well on groomers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then this funky thing, this is a deep thinker. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what, year three? Is this year three? Uh, this would be the second year. This would be second year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second year. I'm thinking too far ahead. Uh, I love that there's an integrated stop pad. Yeah. Uh, what's up with the, with the Deep Thinker this so, year? So, uh, one of Danny's boards, um, you know, last year we had the, you know, one with the Gons graphic, everything like that. Uh, it's just one of those magical boards that you just jump on and <laughs> it just feels right. Like, yeah. you know, like this is one of my favorite boards. Is it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and a lot of people out there that just jump on it. It's, mm -hmm. it's awesome. It is tapered. It does okay. have a little bit of balance free ride to it. Right. It's uh, like seven millimeters, not a ton. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's just enough to really just kind of. Just to really charge, you know, forward. It's like, it's one of those things. that's like you gotta really ask yourself, okay, how much am I really riding switch? If you're riding switch, ninety percent of the time, 
You know, you can deal with a little bit of taper. Right. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you should be on a board of taper because it just, they turn so easy. Right. They initiate turns. True. This board's pretty snappy. It's got that kind of custom level construction with the carbon highlights, mm -hmm. center WFO. So through the middle of the board, it is pretty stiff, mm -hmm. but you know, pretty tall nose. So it does float well in you know, deep right. snow, but kind of cuts again through a lot of that chunder. Uh, graphic inspiration this year. Um, you know, Danny was kind of roaming around Craig's in the, you know, in the, the museum area and looking at one of uh, Craig Kelly's old boards. And awesome. Just kind of got, you know, the, um, the inspiration from, like, some of the old mystery boards. Great. Um, you know, one of Craig's boards had this old, you know, stomp pad already on it. So, oh, why can't, you know, let's just include the stomp pad on it. So right. Pretty cool retro look at stomp pad. Mm -hmm. Clean base, you know, it's got the little squigglies there, but then also the mount logo. <laughs> so, right. pretty sick. I love the yellow side sidewall, too. Put some yellow Malavitas on there. This is going to be sick pop um no a lot of people kind of wonder what's the biggest difference between uh the the deep thinker and, and the skeleton tv they, they kind of have they resemble each other's kind of outline and shape but how are they going to react and ride different on snow um well the the deep thinker is definitely uh, a little stiffer a little okay. poppier a um, little lighter construction, but you know, again, that that uh, the carbon that's in it and just the overall flex of the board is stiffer through the body. Okay. Cool. Um, a little bit different side cut radiuses and things like that, mm -hmm. but I think this one's a little deeper side cut, but it's a softer riding board. You right. Know? Where this one's, you know, a um, little bit stiffer. Cool. So charge I'd say, a little harder. Yeah, little charge a little harder. Yep. Yeah. And, and Danny was riding this in, you know, the pipe. Like you can switch methods on this Blasting. thing. Like, you know, like 15 feet out, you know, on a tapered board. So. Ah! Crazy. So if you say I can't ride switch, I'd beg to differ. That's right. Well, awesome. Uh, Jason, man, thanks for being here and kind of walking us through the Fun Shape All yep. Mountain line from Burton. Uh, these are really great decks. Again, this is uh, the Skeleton Key, the Flight Attendant, and the Deep Thinker. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciate you being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment or a question. Let us know what you think of each of these boards and the rest of the All Mountain line from Burton. Uh, select the links below in the description. You get linked directly to our website. L make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out more vids here. And hopefully, we'll see you guys on the snow.